Begin here with our favorite award show. It's our 28th annual Critics' Choice Award, saluting the best in film and in television. And of course, what is the best in television? Beth Dutton gets her due. Both the actress and the show are nominated here. Kelly Riley from Yellowstone. You're a professor somewhere fancy. Northwestern. Got a couple of grown kids. Once they left the house, your wife divorced you so fast she left skid marks. But how nice for you, huh? Let me guess, we're well, a little wacko. No longer cool to boink the co-eds. So you decide this city. Be a nice little place in Bozeman, because, well, it's your favorite place to ski. Thank you. <laughs> Not for all the tea in China, penciled. Kelly is a nominee, and so too the series for best dramas. The nominees include Andor, Bad Sisters, Better Call Saul, The Crown, Euphoria, The Good Fight, House of the Dragon, Severance, and Yellowstone. To the comedies, the Best Comedy Series nominees, Abbott Elementary received six total nominations, Barry, The Bear, Better Things in its final season, Ghosts, Hacks, the new Hulu comedy reboot, and Reservation Dogs. Critics' Choice Awards, the movie nominations, will be announced on December 14th. The whole show, including our live red carpet show, will take place Sunday, January 15th. Now, to the Fairmont Century Plaza Hotel for our annual Critics' Choice celebration of black cinema and television taking place Monday night. Maybe the best way to talk about this is to identify who wasn't there because everybody was. Quinta Brunson picking up an award for her incredible work with Abbott Elementary, which also, as you heard, nominated for a Critics' Choice Award. She and I spent a few moments backstage. You, you tell me, everybody loves the work that you're doing. That must be extremely gratifying. It is. I'm so happy that people love this show because we love making it. A lot of people in Hollywood get to make a show that they love, but to have the audience respond to it the same way that you do while making it is rare, and I don't take it for granted. I'm so happy that everyone can feel, um, you know, what it is that we're putting out there, and I'm happy that people are at home enjoying it and watching it with their families. It's incredible. The Critics' Choice celebration of black cinema and television will air nationwide in the coming weeks. That is your entertainment report. Here in Hollywood, I'm Sam Rubin.